Hi everybody! Welcome to Birdsnest Designs. My name is Denise and I am here today to share with you a fun, adorable, happy mail card. This card features Snailed It, one of the super adorable stamp sets that's retiring from the January to June mini catalog. This stamp set comes with coordinating dies. Right here. Hi, Gail. These dies, the snail dies, are on for 50% off. So regular $41, these are on sale for $20.50 while supplies last. So if you fall in love with the snail bit bundle, now is a perfect time to add it to your collection. Today on my blog, I posted a bunch of information that started as of today, June 1st. So please, if you haven't already, check that out. I've got a super fun summer scoops promotion I started and I'll go on live um, in the next day or so and explain how that's gonna work. I also posted on Facebook um, a happy mail list today. So if you go back into my Facebook page, Bird's Nest Designs, and find the cute little male guy with a great big happy smile, um, and click on that link and fill in your information, I will put you on my happy mail list, which means I will send you happy mail and birthday wishes and all kinds of fun stuff. So I'd love to share some, some joyful, pretty cards with you via snail mail, which makes today's card super suiting. So let's get started. I have, um, so here's the card we're going to make today. I'm going to switch up the colors slightly because these are using some of the retired car, um, in colors that we just retired. So <clears throat> here we go. We're going to start with a crumb cake card base. And I've got it scored, so I'm just going to fold it down the middle and burnish the edge here so we get a nice crisp fold. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I'm just going to adhere our insert, which is four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna just plop that right on inside just to get it out of the way here. Okay, and I'm gonna do some little stamping on it later, but it can be adhered for what I wanna do. Okay, so here's the front of the card. I've got a piece of the gorgeous balmy blue. This is such a fun, bright color. And I'm just going to attach that centered onto the card front. Okay, so I'm just going to try and leave equal spacing all the way around. All right, so now with these pieces attached, I'm going to set this card front our card aside and then I'm going to bring in a piece of basic white that I have here. This basic white measures three and three quarters by five and I'm going to use both crumb cake and polished pink. It's my new favorite color. Um, I'm going to use these inks pads. Okay and then from the snail that stamp set I'm going to use the super cute um, snail later on in the card but right now I'm going to use this happy mail enclosed and this cute little heart. So I've already got those onto some blocks here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to randomly stamp this adorable image in crumb cake all over the back of this white piece of paper. Oops, that one didn't go so well, but that's okay because we're going to have a piece covering that, so it'll be just fine. Okay, so we've got that on there. And now I'm going to use this cute little heart and the polished pink. I'm just going to fill in a few of these guys. I just love making just random cards to put in the mail and send to people just to brighten somebody's day. It doesn't have to be a special occasion. It's nice just to get a card and know somebody was thinking of you, which is why I started my happy mail campaign this morning. Um, I'd really like to just, you know, send you something, let you know I was thinking of you that day. 
So um, like I said, if you haven't already, please go on over there and fill that form in. Okay, so here we've got our background. How cute is that? And we won't worry about that stamping right there. Um, so what we wanna do now is attach this right on to the balmy blue, leaving just a slight border. Gail, I see your comment that this bundle is on your wish list. It was on mine right away when I saw the catalog. I just think it's so cute. Um, there were so many creations on Pinterest and all over when Valentine's Day was out, but this set really can be used for so many different things. Okay, so next thing I wanna do is I've taken a two and three quarter inch square piece of crumb cake and I'm just gonna attach that on. So see what I mean, it covered that that stamping. That's why I wasn't too concerned about it. But do remember, if that would have been in a more obvious place, there's two sides. We could have just flipped the paper and carried on. So I'm going to attach this this way. No, I'm going to do it this way today. The other card's the other way, but... Okay, and now I've got a two and three quarter inch square piece of polished pink. And I'm just going to stagger that upon top of the crumb cake. Like that. So and this is going to tie in all the colors from the card. Okay, so let's set that aside now and I've got a, just a scrap piece of basic white here. I've got that adorable snail I promised we were going to use. So I'm going to stamp him using my memento because I'm going to color him with um, my blend pens. So let's just stamp him over here in this corner. Hi Bev, hi Bobby. Thanks for joining us tonight. Okay, so here we are now in these amazing die set here. I love, love, love this die. Look at how cute this little postage stamp looking die is, okay? So that's what we're gonna cut out. We're gonna cut that out over on this side and then we are going to cut out this snail as well. So I'm gonna, cut them both out first and then we'll go ahead and color that sweet snail. So again we don't have a magnetic plate for our new cut and emboss machine but we do have post-it notes so I am going to just stick that on to make sure it doesn't move and this one doesn't really matter because there's nothing it's outlining. So I'm just going to go ahead um, I'll put it here I don't know how well you guys are going to see this but here's my little mini stamp and emboss machine. I've got my plate here. I'm in the wrong order here. Okay, so there's our cutting plate. I'm just gonna plop that down. Fold that up so it doesn't get in the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and roll this through. I love that this cute little machine just sits right on my desk. And as long as your images aren't too large. Oh, I'm trying to do this though wobbling the table too much sorry guys okay there we go it works exactly the same as the large machine it's just smaller um, so there we go we've got that sweet snail cut out we've got that gorgeous postage stamp die So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to quickly give this guy some color and I'm going to start with crumb cake and I'm going to color the snail's body here. Crumb cake. I'm going to outline it in the dark. And then I'm going to fill it on in with the, the light crumb cake. You can of course do that any way you want. Sometimes I do find myself coloring it in first with the um, the light and then outlining in the dark. It all depends. So there we've got it nicely outlined and I'm just going to come in with my lighter crumb cake and blend all those colors together. Okay, so there we've got the snail colored. 
Now for his gifts that he's carrying on his back, I'm gonna bring in the other colors we used on the card. So I've got Balmy Blue. So we'll get this one here. And we'll go ahead and color that one in. And then of course the present on the top, I'm gonna use that gorgeous new in color polished pink. making sure that's Calypso Coral. I just want to make sure I have my, there we go. <clears throat> Such a pretty color. All right, so for his shell, I want it to really stand out. I want to give this card a little bit of a, some fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and color it yellow, like I did on the other one. So I'm using Daffodil Delight. And just like I said, I'm gonna outline it in the dark. I just, I really think these little snails are so, so cute. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and shade it in with the light. Now, if you're falling in love with these cute snails as I'm making this card, be sure to check out the January to June mini catalog, which is retiring at the end of the month, because in there, there's also some coordinating designer series paper, which is so super cute. Um, there's lots of images in there that you can actually just use these dyes, these snail dyes, and cut them right out, pre-colored and everything for you. Um, I did feature one of my scrapbook layouts in February, um, featured this adorable set. So you can always check that out too under my online classes. It'll have the old ones in there as well just so you can look back. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the Calypso Coral Dark into this light that I've already done. And there we have our really cute snail. So the card base here, we've got our little stamped postage stamp. I'm going to take my pool party okay so this one I use quite often for different things for shading for outlining and all I'm going to do is just put a little bit along the bottom like so just because I don't want it to look like my snail is just hovering in the air so this way it looks like he's kind of you know sliding along something there so this postage stamp I'm going to just attach directly onto the polished pink cardstock that we've already adhered here okay so these are both on an angle this one I do want to be straight-ish <laughs> and I say that because it's really hard sometimes to get it straight when these are crooked around it but either way it's gonna look great so now I'm gonna use some bumpets and I'm gonna attach our brightly colored snail he is just gonna go right on here like that. Oh, he's so cute. Now, for the finishing touch, well, one of the finishing touches on the inside, remember I said I wanted to stamp something. So because this is Happy Mail and I just want somebody to know I was thinking of them, I'm gonna stamp just a couple of these cute little floating hearts in here. So that's why it didn't matter if I attach this first or not. So I've got some cute little hearts inside the card. And then of course, wouldn't be a completed card in my thought if it didn't have these super cute resin hearts. So these are also in the January to June mini catalog and they're also on sale for 50% off. So they're on sale for I think $4.15, which is awesome. And most of mine have been used up already, but you get red and white. And the white ones, if you wanted, and I will show you that in just one second here. So I just want a couple white ones, just so they, they blend in and just add a little subtle something in that corner. But if I didn't want white, say I wanted this to be um, polished pink, then all I have to do is give this a color with my Stampin' Blends. Remember your Stampin' Write markers won't work. The blends, you need the alcohol-based marker. And there we have a polished pink heart. So the white ones are really fabulous for that because you can change them to whatever color you want. 
So there we have it. There's tonight's card. Some happy mail featuring the snail dip stamp set. And if you didn't catch the very beginning of my video tonight, I did explain that the January to June retired list was released today. It is posted on my blog, the complete list in a PDF form so you can see everything. You can also visit my online store and it'll show you all the retiring lists there as well in a visual format. So here is Snailed It. This is the stamp set we used. It will be retiring at the end of June. It does have coordinating dies. And these guys are regular $41. They're on sale right now for $20.50. So it's a great deal. And it's cheaper to buy them separately right now as opposed to buying the bundle just because of the sale on the dies. So if you want to order those, contact me. I can send you a link or I can add them to my next order. Um, the resin hearts we just used are on sale. I'm just double checking right now. They're on sale for $4.75. So super cute and like I said, very versatile because you can change the colors. So if you haven't already done so, please go back to my Bird's Nest Designs page, find that cute little male guy with a great big smile, um, click on the link and fill in the form because I'd love to send you some random happy mail and birthday wishes on your special day. Thanks everybody for being here tonight. I'm so thrilled that you were here um, to watch along with me. So yes, Bev, I will definitely send you a link. And again, thanks everybody for being here. I hope you have an amazing week. Have some crafty time and I will see you all soon. Cheers everyone.